Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. So I have a pretty interesting update for you guys, and that is basically that my parents want me to go see a therapist. And I don't know if I was expecting this at all, because they never really brought up the idea of it with me, like whenever we were eating dinner or, I don't know, just talking. And um, I guess that's pretty much came out of the blue for me. And basically what happened was while I was preparing food, um, yesterday, like yesterday afternoon, which is when I woke up because my sleep schedule is pretty fucked up. Um, my dad suddenly comes up to me with this post-it note and he starts talking to me. He starts telling me that, he, hey, uh, would you be interested in uh, seeing a therapist? And I was like, um, basically, I was kind of resistant to it. And it's not because I'm against therapy. I think therapy can be helpful for a lot of people, but uh, it's it's just more that, in my opinion, I'm I kind of feel that therapy wouldn't really be helpful for me, or I'm kind of worried. First of all, that it wouldn't help me out because uh, I feel like I've pretty much tried everything, every single self improvement, whatever. I don't know what the right term is. Um, every single self-improvement technique, every single whatever meme, um, like, I don't know, like mindfulness, meditation. Uh, I've binged red pill content. I've binged all POA, POA shit. Um, uh, you know, philosophy videos. Um, you know, fucking Jordan Peterson. <laughs> holy shit Jordan Peterson um and yeah pretty much every single whatever generic self-improvement thing under the sun and I've also taken psychology courses so I pretty much know about most um you know treatment treatments out there for mental illnesses I've I've tried introspecting um I've tried all sorts of things and you know I've tried stretching, yoga, everything. And what often happens with me is that, you know, when I do, when I try something out for the first time, it generally has a positive effect on me for maybe like the first, the first two or three days. And then eventually it either starts to, the, the effect starts to wear off. Like for example, I, at one point I tried taking CBD oil and it really, honestly did reduce my anxiety and this is while i was still in uh university i it reduced my anxiety but unfortunately it just started to have less and less of an effect and i had to take more and more of it until it just became pro prohibitively expensive and it really just wasn't having much of a, much of an effect on my anxiety anymore and to the point where i stopped taking it and i really just didn't notice much of a different difference anymore and this sort of pattern this sort of pattern of my brain adapting to these different self-improvement things um basically happens with everything i try so i'm just kind of worried that if i go to therapy um you know maybe oh yeah and another thing is that whenever i i do something that sort of helps me out uh but that you're supposed to do, you know, consecutively to cease like more benefits from it. Like, I don't know, like meditation or yoga, stretching. Um, I usually I'm able to stick to it for maybe like a week or two, but eventually I just fall off the wagon and then I return to my old, um, you know, my old behaviors because it's really just difficult for someone like me to stick to, I don't know, to form good habits. There's pretty much rarely any habits that I've successfully formed. So basically my worry is that if I were to go to therapy and you know, therapy is pretty expensive, right? So if I were to do something like therapy, then I'm afraid that basically I might think it's working for me for like the first two or three sessions. And then because of that, it might cause me to want to do more sessions, but uh, eventually it'll have a diminishing effect. Either that or it'll, it'll um, maybe my progress will somehow plateau and I'll basically just be stuck in a sort of loop, uh, talking to, a, you know, talking to a shrink and, um, basically not seeing 
any benefit from it and that would be my biggest fear because um i really just have this you know apprehension about wasting my parents money um and i feel a lot of guilt about it um because i've pretty much wasted so much of my parents money already and i know that you know i guess maybe some people are the mindset that you know it, it's their responsibility to take care of me because you know i wasn't necessary i never i never really asked to be born into this world so you know perhaps you know it's not my fault that i'm genetically subpar or that there's just something wrong with my brain something wrong with my my character or whatever and you know maybe sometimes i do feel that sometimes i do feel that sense of you know wanting to be taken care of if i didn't feel that then i probably wouldn't be neat right now but at the same time i just i don't know i just for whatever reason i do feel guilty maybe it's because i was raised to be that way but i feel guilty about spending their money and i know that my dad is already pretty disappointed at the fact that i pretty much blew you know tens of thousands just on university because that was like two years no three years down the drain three and more like three and a half years down the drain and that's not just including tuition but it also includes you know room board and rent and you know food and all sorts of you know expenses that i that i took on while at university that i pretty, pretty much wasted and you know there's so many things that i wasted money on including you know stuff for my music and which really hasn't come to anything i can pretty much make a whole video about that but the point that i'm trying to make is that i've already wasted so much money at this point and i'm just afraid that if i were to do therapy and it didn't really work out not only would i feel guilty about it but um it would also lead to a lot of resentment uh you know on my parents part like maybe they might i'm kind of afraid that they'll think that i'm just you know i'm just it's kind of my fault that it's not working out which i guess it would be in a way but it's not in like it's not my fault you know in the sense that i'm consciously trying to sabotage myself i feel like a lot of my problems are really because of the subconscious part of my mind that's really just fucking with me and making me you know be useless and not be able to accomplish anything productive perhaps you know there's something wrong with my neurochemistry and that is sort of a part of part of me but it's not really a part of me that i can really control because i've tried everything and you know i'm still in this position so um yeah uh but basically they are pretty adamant about me trying it um i think what made them i think what made them uh i guess bring this up might be because um you know given that i've been binge watching anime for uh for months now and you know during this time period i pretty much locked myself in my room the entire time the only time i would ever leave my room is when i would go up and eat with my parents and you know eat dinner and i used to uh you know stay upstairs a lot more try to make conversation and you know when relatives would come over for example like for example my aunt and uncle who live nearby basically come over every week and you know whenever they come over i try to make conversation you know try and hang in there and you know not seem like i'm a complete you know lost cause and degenerate and you know i guess practice my social skills because that's pretty much the only practice that i really ever get but um recently i've been you know I've been spending less and less time upstairs and you know whenever my relatives would visit i basically just eat and then maybe stick for like 15 minutes and then go back to my room and then shut the door and i think shutting the door is also maybe one of the things that they're worrying about because um you know it's like i'm it's like i'm basically isolating myself and you know this is behavior that's cons this is behavior that's consistent with you know hikikomoris and all and although my parents don't really know what a hikikomori is i'm sure that this sort of behavior would be you know worrying to any parent like they're probably 
whenever they go to the basement or when they do, they probably see the door shut and they probably, they don't hear anything because, um, well, I have, I have earphones on while I'm watching all sorts of, you know, degenerate cursed fucking animes that I'm pretty sure would make my parents, um, you know, lock me in a mental institution because it's just patently, blatantly, I mean, just degenerate and um yeah so they're probably thinking they're pro all sorts of thoughts are probably running through their head including you know is he is he depressed is he lying in his bed or maybe he's you know fucking watching snuff films um or you know fucking you know ma furiously masturbating to i don't know some sort of fucking degenerate porn but unfortunately i'm sorry parents it's much worse than that i'm I'm binging, you know, fucking degenerate rom-com animes, which are completely vapid and are probably making me lose what little IQ points I have left. So, um, yeah, but because they're pretty adamant about me going to see a therapist, you know, I'm willing to give it a shot. I'll try and, you know, go into it with an open mind. You know, maybe, you know, there's something that, you know, this therapist might be able to, to do or say to me that, you know, might somehow be able to change my perspectives on perspectives on things, you know, um, maybe, you know, because I've tried CBT with my aunt, who's a counselor, but like it kind of ended up like everything which I talked about before about it only working for like the first few times and then eventually tapering off and not really offering any sort of benefit. So, um yeah uh fuck i almost tripped but yeah basically i'll give it a note i'll give it a shot and you know hopefully it works out but you know given that i'm going to see a therapist you know it really got me thinking about you know how i'm supposed to be open and honest with my therapist and well if i'm going to be open and honest with my therapist should i tell my therapist that i'm a fucking based neat who has a cult following on YouTube and basically rants and raves nonstop while saying, you know, every 1.5 seconds uh, and rambles incoherently about his life or just just overshares embarrassing shit about himself, uh, which he probably shouldn't over the internet, which is probably not a very good idea. Another thing is that, um, well, uh, you know, should I, should I, uh, should I talk to my therapist about the fact that I'm a, a, um, that I'm a, um, a blossoming degenerate otaku who watches all sorts of filth, um, just trash. Like it's really fucking garbage, but I honestly, I can't, I can't stop myself because it's really just, it's too fucking lit. Like, holy shit. Um, let's see. Um, let's take, uh, this one is sort of like notorious, but honestly, it's in the grand scheme of anime, um, really not that bad. And that's just, um, you know, I guess goes to show how fucking degenerate anime is. Fucking Arrow Manga Sensei. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, it's really hard to relate to people when you just watch that shit, even if it's ironic, even if you watch it ironically. And, you know, I'm I'm pretty much watching it just to laugh at how fucking degenerate the anime is and how degenerate I am for liking, like, Moe shit, like, fucking, like, K-On and all that shit. Like, how am I supposed to talk to my therapist about that? It's even sort of embarrassing just talking about shonen animes because you're basically uh, trying to explain to, to another adult, functioning adult, that you're into fucking cartoons that, you know, teenagers you should be enjoying and it's probably um, maybe it's probably not such a big deal but I mean I already have these sort of embarrassing feelings for just for shonen animes which are pretty tame pretty normal and while I'm watching progressively more like degenerate shit so I mean should I um should I try and uh make my therapist take the fucking waifu pill should I uh you know um show her um clips of fucking moe anime and you know uh squeal about how it's the best thing that i've ever that it's the greatest gift to mankind by god um 
also should i should i talk to the therapist about you know all you know the gender pills should i talk to should i try and fucking red pill and black pill my therapist um you know try and uh talk to my therapist about how my fucking um my fucking face width to height ratio is the primary cause for all of my for all of my woes in life or how um you know my recessed chin is the cause of me being bullied because i it basically makes people subconsciously perceive me as weak and being a fucking degenerate i don't know should i try that should i should i um should i talk to my therapist about how uh um i don't know should i should i bring a copy of the uh, you know the er manifesto and you know tell her that i'm planning on okay i'm not going to joke about that actually because that's probably not something i should fucking joke about but yeah sorry uh if i kind of seem a little bit out of it uh because uh, i think i'm just honestly fucking losing my mind at this point but uh yeah uh obviously i'm not going to be talking about that stuff with my therapist because it's either going to be it's either going to land me in a fucking on a watch list or a mental in a mental institution or just a straight up jail cell and i'm really not down for either of the three i'm already incriminating myself sort of by making this video and putting it out there online but you know i gotta you know make content for you guys i guess and um you know uh i guess that's pretty much all I have to say my parents want me to see a therapist and i'll probably keep you guys updated on that if it eventually happens uh again sorry for the long wait in between videos um I just really need to get my shit together. Not that that's ever happened for me in my life, but um, hopefully you guys found this entertaining and this is Comfy Neat signing out.